start this off, Mr. Bird. So, you know, when we did this event, they asked, like, what's the, what's the way to have you leave with, with, like, tactical, like, you get fired up, right? We all get excited, but it needs to be implemented. So we talked about what are, the, what are, like, the fast start, right? And one of the things that we do in a coaching program we have, we're going to talk about that a little bit, but it's not about that, right? This is not a pitch. Matter of fact, please, this is free. We want you to understand this. But when we look at this, we have this 90-day fast start that we run all the people through in the program. We have almost 100 people in this program now. And so we kind of condense this down for you today to go over, like, what's a way to kickstart this, way to get going right away? Some of it seems very elementary, but some of it I promise you're not doing, right? Wow. So if you leave with these five things today, I promise you your business will look different in 90 days, period. Right? So would that be valuable? All right. Now, so, let, let, I want to get by, are you going to participate today? Because you've done a lot of listening and taking notes, but we're actually going to make you do some stuff. We're going to take some action, right? They don't have to do it. No, no, they, they're, they're here. Yeah. They're here. So can I, I want to, can we, raise your hand if you're going to participate. Okay, you're doers. This is a room full of oh, doers. I saw somebody didn't raise their hand. Who is that back there? Yeah. Pam, why didn't you raise your hand? <laughs> we don't want to shame anybody. <laughs> All right, everybody raise their hand. They're all in. I'm not raising my arm. I golf today. I'm not doing it. All right, but, but seriously, you know, um, Matthew is one of our top coaches. We, we go a lot of through this process with people, and, and there's breakthroughs. There's pieces of this that you don't feel comfortable with. And so we try, to, we try to lay out the railroad tracks of what you could follow that's proven, right? I've, co I've now coached over 15,000 hours in agent attraction specifically. Mm. All right? kind of know a couple things, not from me, but because of other people. And through this, we've, we've added some, some value today that I think is going to be really, really good for you. So let's, let's go. Number one, super simple, seems simple, but honestly, and don't BS me, who has a list of 100 agents in agent attraction or more, or more that they could absolutely go pull up right now, be completely honest. Okay. Now, is it written down? Okay. It's in your CRM. Seven. Seven, eight, nine. I know you have it done. But you get my point? This is so simple. Sorry, I'm over there. I'm, I'm, I'm a bouncer. It's so simple, but most people don't have it and don't have it correctly. Focus on 100 agents. Think of past transactions. Think of friends. Think globally, too. This is the cool part. When I was a KW team leader, I had to think geographically. Matter of fact, I couldn't even get out from Reading into Chico, which is only 45, 50 minutes away, because the other team leader was in Chico, and you know we had some little contests there. So you're geographically bound in other companies, not in this company. Think of somebody you met in Italy. When you go to Italy, be purposeful, right? But make your list of 100 to start with, and then just always be focusing on growing that. But make your list and get it written down. It could be on scratch paper. Brent's shown you his paper before. It's yellow pages, and I was number eight on the list. I'm still pissed about that. Hey, you're top 10. I'm not a top 10 guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me ask the question. So though, there was only nine or 10 that had a list. So raise your hand that's written down, has a list, right? The, for those that don't have a list, how come? Who's willing to kind of speak up? This is interactive here. How come you haven't written a list down? Anybody willing to speak up and just... Be it could be. It could be, I don't know where to find the names or who to put down. Got a microphone back there. Yeah. Because this will be good. When you have the guts to speak up, there's probably five to eight other people going, yeah, she yeah. just had the guts to speak. I'll just be really honest because I'm so busy with my transactions. Okay. Amen. Amen. Well, there's some gold there too, though, because there's usually an agent on the other end, right? Right. So with you being so busy in your 90 plus transactions or whatever, it should be easy to make a list of 100 plus people, right? Because yeah. you didn't just start this year in real estate, correct? Right, because I'm selling about 100 homes a year, so it should be about 100 agents that I'm already talking to every year, right? And yeah. how many years have you been doing that? 16. Sixteen. Simple math, that's 1,600 names, right? Mathematically. So literally, if you just went through your past transactions or had, you know, your assistant do it and just go, hey, let's go the past three years, four years, whatever MLS will go back to and just start compiling a list there, then it's an easy conversation. Hey, Susie, you remember, you know, we did that deal on 123 Main Street. You remember that? And so on. And then you can compliment the agent. You go, you know, we kind of 
hit some bumps in the road, which is pretty normal. You were fighting for your client, I was fighting for mine. But I was really just impressed with how professional you were. You were a problem solver. You're focused on the end game rather than, you know, in the moment kind of thing. And we got our clients to the end. And I'm just going back, making a commitment, just kind of personally to go back and just really identify rock star problem solver agents. And you're one of those on my short list. Uh, Stephanie, right? Stephanie, you want me to help you get 300 names by Wednesday on your list? Yes. Taking zero of your time. What did he say? Go to Zillow, your Zillow. You have hundreds and hundreds. How many Zillow listings do you have closed on Zillow? Do you, have, do you know right off the top of your head? Hundreds and hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds. Hire a VA. If you need one, I'll give you mine. Rhea's $5 an hour. She's in India. She's amazing. Speak English. Everything's perfect, right? And just tell Rhea, go to my Zillow and look up the address and then go cross-reference it either in the MLS or otherwise and you have your list done for you, no charge. No, I mean, minimal charge for you and no time out of your pocket. You'll have your list. Easy peasy, right? Right, so that's just one way to think outside the box. Right, you can go to your past transactions. You go to your cell phones, the easiest way. I was flying to Puerto Rico with Brent and we flew from here to Orlando and then Orlando to Puerto Rico. So it was about a five hour flight. I went through my phone. I go, I'm going to go through my whole phone and just scour every letter all the way through it and find agents that I've been missing. I got to F in five hours. I got to F. I had hundreds of names. I did A. I did a, a book that had A, B, C, D on every different page. I had to scratch them out and make more pages. It was unbelievable how many people I had forgotten that were in my 5,289 contacts in my phone. Right? So, so it's all there for you. We just gotta, we've got to be purposeful about it. And I know it's busy for you. And I just say, hey, you know, if I said, hey, I'm willing to give you $250,000 a year of residual passive income, all I want you to do is two hours a day in your current busy schedule, would it be worth it to you? I would want to say yes. What I need help with is carving out the time. I could get the list and carving out the time to make the calls. Because when I have, okay. <laughs> So when, I, when I've got clients breathing down my neck, how do we balance that? No, I right? totally get it. I think and I'm not the and only you, one I heard you have family, you have, you know, all these different things in your business. So I'm going to answer your question real quick because you asked, okay? Yeah. How many hours do you work in a week average approximately? 50 to 60. Okay, 50 to 60. So if you were able to carve out one hour a day, does that sound like still too much? I could do that for $250,000 a year. Okay. So that's where you start. If it's 30 minutes, it's a 15 minutes. It's the discipline of doing it every single day. And then you could build on that. By the way, then you'll start replacing income. Because I was coaching 38 full-time clients with Tom Ferry. I didn't have any time. And I surely didn't have the energy after I was done having that time. But it was just a bigger why than it was not to do it. All right. So I love the dialogue. Thank you for that. Thank you. Anybody okay. else on why you don't have your list made? Anybody else want to be? Okay. Yes. Cam? I just joined. He just joined. When did you join? Uh, just about two days ago. Two days nice. ago. Congratulations, Thanks. slacker. Cam! Cam, welcome to EXP. Welcome to the family. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, this is a great time to have the conversation with agents. So as you add them to your list, hey, buddy, I don't have time to talk right now. I just want to let you know I made a move. I'm super excited about it. But I can, I can check in with you like in a week or so, man. I'm swamped with all the new stuff, but I'd love to share it with you. Right? So then, by the way, what's your good email address? What's your, you know, what's your home address if you want to? Whatever you want to make that, that uh, CRM and that, that list correct. Yeah. But this is your time. And I would not talk EXP, by the way. You're just making a list, right? We haven't talked about EXP. We're making a list. Step one, right? I want everybody in the room to have their list before we can go to step two. We're going to go to it, but you understand? Okay. Cool. Well, this is really the foundation. It is. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, because if you really get active with this, you're going to run out of 10 or 12 people that you thought of, right? So we want to have that list made. This is well, a Don Yoakum thing. And the other thing that happens when you have a small list, let me ask you this. If you have a small list and you have a large list, do you feel more confident and secure in the small list or a large list if you get a couple no's? If you got a list of 10 and you get three no's, are you a little shaken? You're like, oh, I've only got seven left. If you got 100 and you get seven no's, you got 93 more to go. You're, you're still pretty rock solid bulletproof. You're like, all right, it's good. I know I'm going to get no's, right? Nobody expects to sign up 100 out of 100, right? So I love it. All right, let's go to number two. Number two, your 90 second story. What is that? This is so what crazy. What is a 90 second story? What is that? Right? So this. Um, 
this is your elevator pitch, right? You've heard your elevator pitch. If you were in the elevator with Tony Robbins, you're going up 11 floors, he's like, hey, Crystal, what do you do? I'm a real estate agent. And I say awesome. <laughs> right? Doors open, ding, he leaves. She's a real estate agent. That was cool. Right? You see what I'm saying? As opposed to, hey, Tony, my name's Crystal. I'm a real estate agent. I'm right here in the Tahoe Basin. I serve values between a million and two million, and my specialty is distressed sellers, or whatever it is, right? You're being impactful. And then, by the way, do you have a good agent that you'd use, right? So all this could be a scripted little intro of yourself. It says elevator pitch meant to be short, right? We're going to give you some examples of those, but really it's edifying yourself in a way that's friendly. It's, a, it's edifying yourself in a way that is, you know, you get to brag a little bit because you're telling them a little bit about yourself, right? And this is something you can do in a safe way, in line, so it could be 30, 60, 90 seconds. There's a lot of different variations, but not five minutes, right? A lot of people, when I go, hey, share your story with me. Give me your elevator pitch. They're like, I was born in the south side of the Bronx, you know, and they just start going through this process, right? So uh, Matthew, would you mind sharing your, 30, your 90, 30 second, 30 second sure. story? Yeah. Okay. Um, so Matthew, um, what do you do? Oh, hey, great question. You know what? I'm a, I've been a real estate broker for 27 years, started when I was 20 and um, have a couple of business partners that I aligned with that uh, one of them was the number one real estate agent in the entire world uh, seven times. My other partner built 10 offices from scratch to over 2,000 agents. I was part owner in three of those and we've had a fair amount of success throughout the years in my 27 years but what was amazing is we stumbled across this model uh, called EXP and it's truly been life-changing. It's changed the game for us. Mm. Tell me a little bit more about yourself. What do you do? You see that? He edified himself, he created curiosity, he created intrigue, all that in 60 seconds, right? That's something you can do in Safeway. That's something you can do in line somewhere. That's something you could do on your way out of church. That's something you could do everywhere. But unfortunately, we don't take advantage of that opportunity. We lose that opportunity, right? Let's hear yours. So mine is... Um, Tell me about yourself. You're Randy, right? Yeah, thanks. Do do, yeah, I was, I was a general contractor, actually. I've been a contractor 30 years, and about uh, 10 years into that journey, you know, I really kind of hurt my back. I was starting to get on medication just to get through my day and realized real estate seemed like the easiest thing to do. And actually, I was building houses, and the real estate agents would sell them over the weekend, make 20, 30 grand, and I was like, that is, I'm, I want all that money, right? So I was greedy. So I got into real estate, started cool banker, didn't know anything. So I went to the front desk, went to the up desk, did all that stuff, did open houses and uh, was rookie of the year, made a hundred and something thousand dollars on paper that year. But my tax side of it was only 38 grand. So I was rookie of the year at 38 grand, realized I needed to go somewhere else. Yeah. So I went to Remax where I become one of the top agents, made 338,000 my very first year in wow. full year in real estate. Thought I'd really figured it out and was there a couple of years, very happy, not looking to move and Keller Williams came to town. And Keller Williams asked me to take over an office. I said, no. They asked me to do it again. I said, no. They made it have some ownership and stuff involved. So I said, yes. Ran that office for four years. Loved it. Never thought I'd leave ever, ever. And then 2008 happened. So we had a business divorce. Ended up closing that market center. So I went back independent. Had a kind of a foul taste in my mouth for the franchise. <laughs> and then a good friend of mine called. I was the eighth phone call. He, you know, he's not in here anymore. <laughs> Um, a good friend of mine called Brent Gove. He asked me about EXP, and I said, absolutely no. And he goes, why not? And I go, I'm just not interested. And he goes, would you do it for me? Don't look at it for you. Matter of fact, you're not allowed to join EXP. Right? We just talked about this, Blake. But would you do it for me? And I go, yeah, I'd do it for you. Send me whatever you got. And he goes, I want you to get, down, get you on the phone with this guy named Rob Flick. And so I got on a phone call with Rob Flick for 90 minutes. <laughs> And he showed me the model explained. And about 22, 23 minutes into it, I saw something I couldn't unsee. Huh. And from that time on, it's changed my life. I joined immediately, didn't do anything for a couple years because I was coaching for Tom Ferry, finally edited or exited that relationship. And now I have about 1,000 agents in my organization. Wow. We're helping people all over the world. We're in 30 states and five countries. I'm curious, have you ever taken a deep look at it? You know, I've heard about it, but no, honestly, I haven't taken a deep dive. So the one thing that you'll hear about the 90-second the story is variations, right? If I'm talking to you and you're with Remax, I really go heavy on my Remax career. Yeah. If you're with Keller Williams, I'm really heavy on the Keller Williams career. Cole Banker, same thing. I might speak about Cole Banker for 45, 50 seconds of it, and then, go, then I went to Remax and Keller Williams and Independent, and then finally I ended up at X, right? 
So I, I can move it around for them. If they're a coach, I lean on that piece of it. So your story can have variations to it, but you got to have that foundational thing where you could just rip the cover off of it and feel like, you know, you nailed that. And that means doing it in the mirror, talking uh, affirmations to yourself, writing it down, internalizing it, right? So it's that edification of yourself that you really don't get a second chance to do. Well, and we have our coaching clients. We actually say you, you should video your 90-second story talking in, and that takes it to another should level. Should is kind of a soft word. We make them. We make them. And because people need accountability to these things, right? Yeah. And so if they're going to be in our program, they've committed to stepping up their business to a new yeah. level. So we require these things that we know are going to benefit them. And it's interesting. There's still people, we've required this for the last three weeks, I think. There's still people that haven't done it. And it is like step two of five. And they want to make six figures a year and in residual income. It's like, guys, you have to master the basics. If you don't have a personal story, a 90-second story, how do you start talking to someone? How do you get into it? That's what people go, I don't know what to say. I, well, because you don't have a 90-second story. Yeah. Right true, there. True. You don't have a list and you don't have a 90-second story. You got those. Oh, you're, you're doing some things. Yeah. We can refine the rest. 100%. Any questions on that before I go to the next one? Y'all good? Yes. Great question, Tom. Actually, you nailed it because by, by the essence of sharing my story, I weave, it's, it's just a timeline dialogue. It's not like, oh my God, I love EXP. Can I tell you about it? But instead, it, what's the value of that? If, honestly, if you like erase everything we just said and I go, Courtney, I love EXP. I think you'd love it too. Can we talk about it? No. Where do I go from here? But if I go, Courtney, what company are you with? Swiss? Twist. Oh, Twist. Twist. I'm sorry. Twist Realty. That's Twist. a beautiful name. Beautiful yeah, name. Yeah. I go, Twist Realty. That's amazing. Is that your own brokerage? Oh, my God. So do, can I share my story with you? Sure. And I'm going to give you that variation, right? Hey, you know, um, Courtney, I, I had my own brokerage at one time as well. I, was, I started Cobo Banker, and then I went to Remax, succeeded at the highest level, went to Keller Williams, team leader, kind of owner, I thought, but it really wasn't mine. And then when I closed that and I went and became my own broker, I had platinum properties. I had 25 agents. How many agents do you have? Oh my gosh, we, we have similar backgrounds. That's really amazing. I, I, I had some unique challenges when I had my independent brokerage. Would you say that's true? You know, I'm at eXp now. I'd love to get together and talk about your brokerage, about what you're doing to get through some of these things in this market and uh, just see what we can do to collaborate, network and share. Would you be open to that? Why are you sure now? You see what I'm saying? It's relatable, it's, right? Like there's connection there. Oh, it, it's not a pitch. Frequency. It's your story. But you see how I just skipped over the other companies this time, right? I didn't go into details about this. Now, it's, it takes some skill. It takes some practice to do this. That's why we do practice weekly. We do role play weekly and daily. This is something that, that as you progress through this, it will become natural for you right? He's a master at it. He truly is a master at it. He awes me all the time. We get on, we get on the calls and literally this lady go, oh my God, EXP. And he's like, oh, what have you heard? She's like, I don't want to talk to you. Okay, no problem. Why don't you want to talk? Well, I just don't have time right now. No problem. Is there a time that's better? No, I don't want to ever talk. Okay, cool. I see you're in Delaware. <laughs> it's like, I literally, I'm typing in chat going, he doesn't listen. But it's not that. He but doesn't care do to listen. Uh, he goes until they go, hey, you know, I've got to go. Is that accurate? Yeah, you don't think accurate. so, but it's true. It's pretty accurate. And he does but it. I in do a, listen, actually. He does it in a way that's non confrontational. I mean, he's really a master at it. So, like, getting on these calls, listen to that every day makes you better. All right? Tony, you had a question? Yeah, so what if you don't have a lot of experience? Like, don't get a lot of experience for your nice second story. What if you're just starting out? Perfect. I'm going to be you for a minute if it's okay. All right? Hey, listen, uh, Courtney, my name's Tony. I'm from Tahoe. They call me Tahoe Tony. Do you have like one quick minute? Hey, you know what? I've been around in the real estate market for 15 years and um, I'm kind of new in this journey, but can I tell you about who I get to hang out with? I'm hanging out with Tom Daves, number one Keller Williams agent in the world. Not once, not twice, but seven times. I can connect you with him. I think it'd be valuable even though you have a brokerage. I think that'd be valuable. Would you agree? An another guy, Don Yoakum, he owned 30 Keller Williams offices like you and he built 10 from the ground up. Did you build yours from the ground up? Amazing. Oh, wow. So you guys would have a lot in common. You'll love Don, by the way. He's this, this, and this. 
right? He was an Olympic athlete, just blah, roll it on, right? And at the end, I'd say, hey, I would really, really like to connect with you and just let's network and collaborate and partner. I don't know what it looks like yet, but it's not about EXP. I am with EXP, I'm proud of it, but I don't know if we're a fit yet. Would it be cool if we connected and just talked about all these things? Another yes from you? Jeez, how, how much did I brag about myself? Big pushover. Zero. Right? So your story, you want to weave in things that's going to personalize and edify you the best you can. But it could have been you were an Olympic athlete. It could have been that you're, you're the coach of your local high school football team. It could be anything that's creating that little bit of connection. And then you're looking for things that you can have some kind of collaboration on to have another phone call about, right? Honestly, I think it's a mistake. And this is kind of, you know, this is, this is controversial. I think it's a mistake to talk about EXP the very first phone call unless they ask. If they don't bring it up now, a lot of times I can intrigue them enough to where they ask. But if you're bringing it up on the very first phone call, I think it's a mistake. The best idea that I can tell you is make it all about them 80-20. And when you get done, they're going to be intrigued. And if I talk to you for five minutes, promise you right now in real language, at the end of it, you're going to go, so what about you, you know? I know about, you know, I know about your kids, your family, your husband, all these things. You're going to say reciprocity is going to happen. Well, what about you? You know, Courtney, I'd love to share that with you. I don't have much time right now. Would you mind if we did another call? Is she going to say no? Like, I just asked you about you. You told me all about, you know everything about me, and now I'm not going to take another phone call. It's never going to happen. But if you sneak in, yeah, I'd love to do another call. I'd love to share EXP with you also. Yeah, call me. My number is 555-122. You follow me? Is this helping? This makes sense? Awesome. Okay. All right, so, Tom, Tom's got a quick one. Oh, yes. Randy, forgive me. I, That's right. You said don't bring up EXP on the first call. So this I told is, you it's this, controversial for a reason because no, I, I'm not arguing with that. But high but, D's don't like what I do because they want to get right to the kill, right? That's Including that's what I did for I three years, the by the way. On the call. That's what I did for three years. That's why I have a list of thousands and 300 won't ever take my call again because I screwed it up. Well, okay, so that's my question. That's the genesis of my question because I am such a high D. If you called me and we didn't know each other and you know you got into the form, family, occupation, rec, all that stuff, and you're, you're truly just trying to find out about me, but I'm on my end going, why are you calling me? Like, what's yeah, the I'm point? Busy. So, so you want to do like, a real I role? like that you're interested in me, but if you don't get to the point, I'm going to go, Randy, I got to go. Like, I, this is not making me money. I know you well enough, Tom. You want to do a real quick role play? Sure, yeah. Are, are you cool I'm being cool. vulnerable about this? I'm cool. Okay, and, and, I'll, and I know a little bit about your background, so I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to act like I don't know you, okay. right? But, hey, Tom, uh, I looked your number up on, on, honestly on the MLS, and I just was wondering if we can connect for a, two minutes. I'm a real estate broker as well, and it looks like you're – how many houses are you sell in a year? A um, dozen. A dozen? Okay, yeah. cool. Um, would you mind if we got together and just network, collaborate, partner, whatever that looks like? Obviously, referral fees are simple. He's chasing me with the camera. Obviously, referral fees are simple, but I'm thinking other things. I'm thinking some kind of collaboration, network, partnerships. I don't know what it looks like. Would you be open to that? Sure. Do you find yourself to be open-minded? It depends, but usually, yeah. Depends on what? Uh, if it's something that will make me money and something that I'm already doing and interested in and help is, me. Is that what your, your high-level thing is, making money? Um, if it, regarding real estate, absolutely. It's real estate and it's making money, so that has a high level to you? I'm in real estate now, so yeah, as are you. So okay. yeah, if, okay, I'm, cool. if I'm making money, then yeah. It's all about that. So I, I promised you two minutes. What's a good time we can get together for maybe 30 minutes and we'll talk about this specifically? Uh, Go first, ahead and object with me, whatever you want to say. Uh, Randy, I, I'm, I, I need you to tell me more. I, I, I don't really have time for, if this is a network marketing thing or a vitamin or a makeup or whatever network marketing, I just don't have time. Yeah, it's not any of that. Okay, so what is it? So again, it's a business opportunity. We're making more money doing real estate. You said you're open-minded, correct? Uh, okay, so can you give me all, a little more All due respect, you said you're doing 12 deals. Was that your goal at the beginning of the year? Uh, no. What was it? 24. Why'd you miss the mark by 50%? Because um, I moved. Would you be interested in doing more deals? Sure. Would you be interested in making money in real estate specifically? No soaps, no potions, no lotions. Yeah. Okay. Then let's put 30 minutes on the calendar. You won't be disappointed. At two minutes into it, if you feel like we're going the wrong direction, we'll stop it. But I've got to run. Are you cool doing that appointment or now not? Now you're talking my language. If we're two minutes into it and I don't like it, I'm going to end the call. You see? And so, I mean, that's just real live, right? But... 
Honestly, there's a little thing in there you probably didn't hear. I took it away from him a couple times. It's a skill. I can't just have you doing you, you that on day I gotta one. Go. You said but as soon as go. you resist me, I go, hey, Tom, all due respect, I don't think you're that open-minded, man. That might be why you're doing 12 deals. I'm not attached to the outcome of this conversation, but here's my number. Call me if things change. Because if you do 12 deals next year, the likelihood you call me is probably high. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Tom, don't wait a year. What's that? Don't wait a year. Oh. Call okay. me sooner. Yeah. All right. Well, you told me to object, so I'm objecting. No, yeah, no. Yeah. You did good. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. Give, him, give Tom a hand. So we got, we got 10 minutes. Okay. I don't know that we need to go through all the... I think they should work on their 90-second story. My I, opinion. I, I want to go through it. You want to go through it. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. huge. Yeah. It's all huge. Right. All right. So um, thank you for that. This, by the way, you know, we do this stuff every single day. Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., we do 30 minutes of role play and objection handling and practicing and scripts and all that stuff. If you want to come and check it out or something, let me know. We'll help you. You know, we want to help you. It is a coaching program. It's super inexpensive. I'll talk about it at the end. But it's not, I'm not about this, right? I want you to understand this is not about getting you into a program, all right? But let's, let's take you through what we feel the next thing is. Practicing scripts, right? I just uh, led with that. Yeah, there you go. It, it literally is the thing. But poor cameraman. He cannot. Yeah, I cannot stand still. All right, thank you. Um, Practicing scripts, what I just did with you is a script practice, an objection to, I love my broker. It's a response, right? You're, you're getting responses from people. And by the way, I tried to list every single objection you'll get to having an EXP conversation. How many do you think there are, like, of all of our coaches and all of our people coming up and typing in what the objections are that they don't want to look at EXP? How many do you think there were total? More than five. I heard 12. Around 12. Think about that. What about if I said, Courtney, for the next week, we're going to absolutely, like, three by five card, take 12 objections you're going to get, and you're going to make such a beautiful response to each one that you're, like, waiting for them to say that. Wouldn't that be? I'm serious. Because I love it when somebody says it's, it's a network marketing pyramid scheme. I go, those are illegal, aren't they? And they're like, well, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, and then I do what he said. He, I go, well, do you accept referral fees? You're cool with that? No problem whatsoever. How many did you do last year? I did about, I think I did about 5,664 last year. Are you interested in we talking about why and how? Right, so that's one way. Or I say, hey, if you're okay with the referral fee, that's what our system is. There's no lotions, potions, or anything else. It's just a referral fee paid from the broker rather than the agent. Isn't that refreshing? And they go, yes. Right? So that's just a response, but that's one of 12. I love my broker. Your broker probably is a super swell guy, but if your broker sold his business, he wouldn't tell you. Would you believe that to be true? Well, I go to lunch with him every single Friday. This is a true story. I had a guy that told me that on Wednesday. He was with Pacific Union in Danville. And on Wednesday, and I knew him, I coached with him and Tom Ferry, and I knew him well enough. I was like, dude, you've got to look at EXP at least as a backup plan, right? He goes, not interested, Bird. I, this is my best friend. We have lunch every Friday. He's the owner of Pacific Union. Trust me, if something was happening, I'd know. Compass bought him on Friday. Mm -hmm. They closed the office on Saturday. On Sunday, they put new signs up, and he called me pissed. Wow. He's like, you knew. I'm like, who do you think I am, dude? You think I know more than Inman and every... It was just a luck of, of a timing thing. But he got forced into Compass and left shortly after, wow. right? And so, again, that is all about what that's about. So, practicing scripts, hugely important. I want to empower you by letting you know there's literally about 12 to maybe call it 20 on the outside of every little variation of I'm not interested. What about if you rocked that? What about if you got to a point where you said, I know how to answer that question. I know how to answer I love my broker. I know how to answer it's a pyramid scheme. I know how to answer 100% um, split, right? I had a, a gal in uh, Remax. She came over to EXP. She was at Remax, 98.2, no other fees, completely grandfathered. Even I was like, holy moly, 98.2? How many deals are you doing? I'm doing 90. Oh, oh there's wow. something here now. What is 2% on those 90 deals? It was 38,000 bucks. 38 grand. Missed All of a sudden I went, oh, I got this. 16. I got this. I know what we're talking about now. Immediate icon, right? So script practice, really, really yeah. big deal. So Matthew, take CRM, campaign, automation, follow up, all that stuff. So we focus on currently two CRMs. So we have KV Core, that's included, right? $85 a month uh, in our monthly fee at eXp. 
We also have CRM Grow, which is more geared towards recruiting and attraction of agents and so on. We and so, don't, but it's available, very inexpensive, 29 yeah. or 50 bucks. But we as in coaches and so on on the platform, we really focus on those two currently. And so we've built out follow-up campaigns and part of the aspect of you know, being a member with us is we share those campaigns so that you can duplicate them on your own, tweak them, change them, you know, uh, and so on, make them your own. And that's a huge value. We have a lot of people that are like, oh my gosh, this is great. Because you are so busy on the transactional tra treadmill, how would you slow down to build a follow-up campaign for agent attraction? And where would you start? And what would you put in there? And you're like, oh my gosh, like, mm, yeah, all right, shut down. <laughs> So we've really put the time in and, and vetted different follow-up campaigns and so forth, and now we're releasing them out and so on. But you can create your own, obviously, and you should. You should have follow-up because the fortune, I think Steve said earlier, the fortune's in the follow-up. You, you could have a great connection first call, like Tom and Randy did, and they have a great first meeting, but Tom's not ready yet, and if Randy doesn't follow up with them or drip on them with some value and some love, it's going to kind of slip through the cracks and probably some other EXP agent may call and, and connect with Tom again and Randy hasn't followed up eight months ago and he did planted the seed and some other agent called and watered it and it sprouted and Tom joins EXP, not with Randy, right? Even though Tom's a great guy, Randy was great, but I don't really remember even his name and I haven't heard from him and boy, Joe, you're amazing. So. The Oh, yeah. And this one's such a massive one, right? Because the very first thing, the number one, the hundred names that gets, gets into your CRM. For me, it's all about notes. I'm, an, I'm a voracious note taker. I'm amazing note taker. I like when I talk to people, I'm typing. And if I don't type, like if we had a conversation for five minutes, as soon as I walk outside, I get on my phone and I speak into my phone. I go talk to Courtney Twist. It was today's Saturday. We were at this ranch. She talked about how she's got 30 agents. She's an independent broker. She built it from the ground up. Everything we just talked about is in my notes because the next time I talk to you, I remember that. And in six months when we talk, I go, hey, you had 30 agents back there uh, when we talked. Remember we were at the resort? Um, how many do you have now? Well, I have 30. So you're not growing at all in six months? Does that concern you? <laughs> right? I can't do that without amazing notes. You understand? So it's more than just CRM. When you get into high level, then we get into automations and all these things that yeah. are going to remind you when to call them, send a text message. You know, we have a really quick flow that I'll give you. You could write this down, hot, warm, cold, right? Just write that down, hot, warm, cold. If you talk to an agent and they're hot, follow up every seven days at minimum. It could be every day. It could be twice tomorrow, but at minimum every week. If they're a warm, if they're kind of, you know, pleasant but not interested, that's every two weeks. And if they're cold, 30 days. Right? So that means even if you say, I hate EXP, I don't even know what those letters stand for, but I hate them. My ex-wife's name's XP. <laughs> don't ever call me again. They're still going to my database until they're either too mean to, to deal with me and I don't want them in my business, or we get to a point to where um, they're just not a good fit, right? So everybody goes in there. <laughs> Tony, Tony, All right, Tony. number five. All right, Here number we five. go. <laughs> The presentation, we're gonna wrap with this today, guys, yeah. but this is something that is probably one of the most critical things, right? You do all the work up front. You've, get, you've got to where somebody's having a great, pleasant conversation with Kim, and they go, yeah, I'm open to, to hearing about EXP, and then you fumble the ball on the one yard line because you don't do a proper presentation, right? This is really, really key for you guys. So we take you through this, but to give you some examples of what this could look like, maybe it's a 30 minute Zoom. Brent Gove's The Model Explained is the most recognized video through the whole company. I love brother Brent Gove. It's 34 minutes now, which they've trimmed it way down, right? So depending on the audience time frame I have, I'll go to that video, but I wanna have a little time to talk. I wanna have a little time to edify. I wanna have a little time to get into some needs analysis questions. So if I have a 30 minute window, I'll do the nine minute model explained that come, it's a really good overview, kind of the 30,000, I tell them this is a 30,000 foot elevation view. It's meant to be nine minutes. If you love it, if you like it, if you even don't hate it, I'm gonna take you to the deep dive, which is the model explained, right? But then on the presentation, just to give you an example, say Matthew has a, a 30 minute call per, uh, aligned for somebody. 
the very first thing, acknowledging them, talking about them, doing a little bit of needs analysis for four or five minutes. So before we get started, I'm super excited to show you this stuff, Tony. How long in business? How many transactions? Buyer agents, you have a team. I'm just going through like these list of five or six, 10 needs analysis questions to give me an idea. And that will probably trigger me like, no, I need an assistant. Well, I'm going to leverage that, maybe that part of the video. Or if they go, yeah, I work from home. Do you like that? Or would you rather have an office? And I, I, I would like an office, just my broker closed it. I might talk about Regis in the video. I might, I might leverage points, right? But have this little needs analysis. And then I go, hey, we're going to watch this together. This is a big one. Do not send videos. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, three years ago, I was sending videos like crazy. I just, that was kind of what a lot of people were doing at that level of EXP. Everybody's heard about it now. You're not going to find an alien on earth that's not heard of EXP. All right. It, we used to be able to say, hey, Courtney, have you heard of EX EXP? No, I haven't. Awesome. I didn't think so. I'd love to share it with you. Now it's like, oh my God, if another EXP agent calls me. Right. So that's, that's just what we're seeing. So walking them through this process of this little edification, the video, watching it with them, not sending it to them, right? I literally go, Courtney, I'm gonna watch a nine minute, 20 second video with you. I'm gonna sit here and watch it with you, but I'm gonna take my camera off. I don't wanna disturb you, I'm gonna mute myself, but I'm sitting here watching it with you. And then I start the video, you see it, everything's good, you hear it, awesome. Then I shut off my video and my mic and then I multitask for nine minutes, right? It's playing and I'm listening to it, but I'm on my text, I'm doing my things. At the end of it, about 30 seconds, you know, when they start talking about the end of the XP video, I take my mic off, I take my video and put it back on. And then when it ends, I just shut my screen off. I'm like, what did you love about that? Not what did you think, but what did you love about that? And if they kind of stutter, I go, no, pick something out you loved. What, I mean, it's nine minutes of like amazing content. What did you love? And then they'll get into saying, well, that rev share thing's kind of interesting. Or they'll say, hey, you know, the stock's kind of cool or the healthcare, that's all I focus on now. I don't go, I, I don't have them go, Crystal goes, oh, I love the healthcare. Healthcare is so cool, but you got to look at the rev share, right? That's just a mistake. So this is part of that presentation that we're kind of walking you through, okay? So any questions about anything we've covered today? I know that's a lot of content. Clark, Clark yes, sir. Room. Yeah. How do you get a recording? Uh, it's, it's recorded. Uh, $299. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure we'll get it to you, okay? I don't know the answer, but I'm, we're, we've got, you know, the, the superstar here. Yeah. We don't charge for shipping and handling we'll, or anything we'll, else. So. We'll put it into the Atomic Habits group and pages and different things. We'll make sure you can have access to it. If you're here, you have access. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Thank you. Any other quick questions before we wrap and get on to the next part of the agenda here? Tom. So it's, it really depends on what they said, what they heard, and all that stuff. When I watched it with Rob Flick and Brent Cove, I was like, dude, I'm in. At 22 minutes, I was already in, then he kind of went on for an hour, right? But the, and Alita did as well, you know. Miss Alita joined me with Keller Williams back in, what, 2008 maybe? And we've been just best friends ever since. And so it was a natural thing for me to call her and say, hey, would you look at this? And, and the video sells itself, right? If you have to sell things after the video, they probably are not ready, honestly. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, there's a bunch of there's good ones. There's a bunch of different ones. You know, there's there. a bunch of different ones. I would, I would encourage you to stay with the ones that are Brent Gove, the model explained. It's the most comprehensive. His energy is, you know, it's unmistakable. It's Brent. Yeah. And that's why this company's 88,000, in my opinion, single handedly. Brent's helped the movement of this company. So that's the best video on the planet, period. But if I have a, a shorter window, the nine, nine half, minute yeah. video, it's included in, um, I'll give you a couple Agent things. Builder Pro. AgentBuilderPro.com. It's not my company. It's 20 bucks a month and you get your own video and it's branded to you and all that stuff. 20 bucks a month. It's not the nine minute and it stays current. So when it's at 88,000 agents, it actually says that, not 72,000. And then the other one is CRM Grow provides the same video. They used to be one company, now they're separate. Red X just bought, I think I could say that publicly now actually. Yeah, I can. Red X just bought CRM Grow. So, I already said it publicly. Um, so, you could edit that if I'm gonna be sued, right? Um, so, the, the reality is find these tools that are gonna be helpful for you and then just stay in curiosity. Two. What did you see that you loved? And then, okay, I love this. Okay, is that important to you? Let's dig into that deeper. And then the next step for that is never leave an appointment without the next appointment. Right? Stealing That's probably where this guy was going to go. Stealing my thunder. Right? Never leave the appointment without the next appointment. I don't care what it is. And 
for, uh, for an effort and time, I'm not going to do this with you, but I could role play with anybody in this room and you could try to object me to the end of the earth and I promise you I will set another appointment with you unless you're out of my database. Right? So it doesn't matter if you're BAM going... Fam. Yeah, BAM Book fam. a meeting from a meeting. BAM fam. Never leave a meeting without another meeting scheduled. And Otherwise, you go into chase mode. Yeah. Right? And the next meeting is with your upline. Well, Ideally, it, with... Whatever, yeah. whatever came from... Whatever their needs are on that, right? It's like, hey, I want to do more deals. You have to talk to Tom Daves. Tom Daves has done thousands of transactions. He was number one guy in the world, blah, 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 right? And if they say no to that, I call him out. Like if you go, hey, dude, I'm not interested in talking to Tom Daves. I appreciate the time. I'm like, Tom, you're, Tom, you're going to stay at 12 transactions for the rest of your freaking life, dude. You might even go to eight. Why are you like that? I'm try you don't owe me anything. I'm trying to help you. Are you at 12 or are you not at 12? You said you wanted to go to 24. Is that accurate? Tell me why. I'm hanging up after this, but tell me why you wouldn't want to have a call with Tom Daves. Yeah. Right? And then silence until they answer. And, you know... It's, it's humanality, right? People are, are normally used to being resisted and we've got moats around our houses and voicemails and you know, all this stuff. We just have to break through that with caring for them and really with that enthusiasm that you saw on this panel today, all right? One, one last little nugget. When you get on that Zoom meeting or in person, always clear the time with your prospect. How much time, hey, Luca, you know, so great that you spent the time with me today, hopping on a Zoom. Just want to be clear. I know you're busy. I'm busy. How much time do we have together today? Right? That's respectful for them. He's like, oh, okay. And you'll tell me, hey, I got, you know, 15, 20 minutes. I go, is it a hard 20? Or if you're interested, you'll maybe uh, allow a few, uh, uh, 10 or 15 minutes more. And they go, well, yeah, if it's interesting, I got a few more. I go, okay, great. I just want to know. I want to respect your time. Right? And then you go into the team A, tell me about yourself right? And ask about them and do the needs analysis and so on as we went through. And just because I promised you, I'd give it to you. If you are interested in the coaching, it's one ninety-seven a month. We made it so one FLA in a year pays for the coaching, right? You, if you brought on one agent that's in the capper level, then you're going to pay for your coaching in rev share. That's just simple math. It's at attractboss.com. Super simple. You can go in there. It's month to month. You can get an annual discount. That's only, you pay like nine months and get 12 or something. But if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Trust me, if, it, if you're not ready for it, you shouldn't be paying for it. But if you're in it, it's, a, it's an awesome thing. Put Matthew down as the person that invited you. You know, uh, since he beat me in golf, it was part of our bet. Um, <laughs> Pays to be but, good at golf. But like honestly, it. we've made it super simple for you. It's one ninety seven a month. And everybody you bring into it, you get 50 bucks per month that they're in it. So we did like a level one rev share. So if you bring four people, it's free. Yeah. Right? So we tried to make it really, really... Uh, cheap and inexpensive for everybody. So, yes, Blake. One last question on your, on your step five. Is there a different video to show for commercial agents? Yes, there's a commercial. It's not very good, I'm going to be honest. The commercial model explained is not very good. Um, there's a team, if you reach out to me directly, I'll give you the team that put out a commercial video that was way better than the corporate video. It's coming. I know they're doing a lot of things, but it's, it's a little bit of a, a void right now in that commercial model explained. They do a weekly call that's amazing. There's a lot of components of commercial that's coming a long way, um, and the leadership's amazing, but that particular, we need to bring Govin commercial. All right. All right, with that, because we got... Michelle, oh, sorry. Michelle, here we go. She beat, the, she beat the buzzer. She did. I'm just thinking, like, what I can do when I leave here yep. next week. That's a great question. She asked, what can she do when she leaves here? Oh. Walking through, like, the teams I can call, the agents I can call. If you guys could just spit fire back to us, like, who are your slam dunk calls you can do for us? Yeah, like that's a simple for you, one. For you, for it's you. not. It's not Century Twenty One. It's not an agent at this company. It's somebody you have a relationship with mm -hmm. that knows, likes, and trusts you. We all have them. You probably have to be a little more real with yourself to get to that list. But it's people Stephanie have done great transactions on. And if I call Stephanie and I go, Stephanie, you did a like a, an amazing deal on that escrow. I just every time I do escrows, I always think of how well you did that, how professional you were. May I talk about a business opportunity? You may not say, you may not like it, but can I at least have a short little five minute conversation with you to see and talk to you about it? Would you would that be respectful, for instance, right? So is, you're you're is warm. That what you were asking? No, or so is like your different? suggestion on Aris, thank you. Like what so our like, backgrounds are, so, so like you can you said steer with Araceli, prospects. That one, that one agent I told you about last night. Uh -huh. You t you had suggested like we go. I go back to her and say I was at this 
mastermind. I had the opportunity to speak with Dave or Tom Daves. I think he'd be great for you to tap into before you and your partner make. Sure, yeah, yeah. So when I go back to do that, I obviously so know. So you can best align the, the match for I your say, prospects, right? Your suggestion last night. Probably the easiest would be go to expfamilytable.com. Is it okay to share that, Deb? I already did, but yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> But yeah, she, she went to a lot of work to put basically, because we do have one of the strongest success lines in all of EXP. So you get to read Brent's background, my background, Randy's, uh, Don's, Tom's, it's all right there. And uh, then you can kind of mirror and match, uh, you know, sense? pair together. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Bottom line is leverage your, your senior partners, right? That's yeah. the bottom line. And, and match them to the energy and the question of the, of the person. But we're all here for you, right? Yeah. Everybody in this room is here for you. The company's here for you. Okay, I appreciate it. Let's, Thank uh, you, everybody. We hey, really appreciate it.